Hello, this is my 2021 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT. And today I'll be installing this Leo Vince aftermarket exhaust. And uh, uh, what I like about this one, and it's all personal preference, is I did not want an exhaust that comes out and goes up here, like the Acropavic or some other ones. The Leo Vince basically replaces this, but just ends up coming out here and that's it. So all in personal preference. However, the install is the same in that you got to take this out here and you can see where it hooks in right in here. So you can probably take it out like this. It just makes your life tougher. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do with taking off or loosening the radiator. I made a video before on how to install this cover. So the steps will be similar. I'll just go through it quickly and uh, we'll go from there. So first step is to take out these hex bolts here. They are four millimeters and that's it. There's two of them. You take that out and then you'll be taking out the push pins that you find here. All you do is press them in. There's three of them right here. You press those in on both sides, take it out. And then that will give you access to this panel here to take these two panels to take off. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Uh, what you're going to do is pull here, pull in the middle and pull here. You can see where the grommets are and then you pull up. So once it's out, up, don't try to get the bottom one out because it's actually a slider that goes in. You can see the hook here. So, and that's it. Do the, do the other side and I'll give you access to all this uh, garbage here. All right. So the side here is off. So while we're on this side, uh, we can take off the sensor. You just got to be careful because you can see there's wires here. So if you twist this, it'll twist these wires. So what I would do is follow it up to get to the connector, which is right here. And this connector, I'll do it for you, but all you got to do to take it off is basically push up on this little thing here. And that's about it. So now if you're twisting this, uh, the wire won't, you know, do weird things. It may have to take up this clip, frankly, to do that here, but that's it. So take that off and then we can get to the other steps of uh, getting this, these uh, pipes here, the bolts out. Okay, so I got that sensor off, you can see, and it's all unplugged here. And what I did is I did cut these little twist dies. I'll just put them back. Uh, so. There we go, I have access to these bolts now. On that side, here, let's go on the other side real quick. There we go. Uh, now, and access to the bolts here. And the middle one is right in here, if you see that. Anyways, I can, I can get those without probably doing anything to the radiator. So I'll attempt that and I'll report right back. All right, I just want to make a note here that it's a 12 millimeter and I th it works better with a uh, extension. And of course the fine, fine uh, power socket. Does a great job just taking that off. Uh, so I will take all these off and I'll report back if there's any weird issues during uh, taking off the bolts. All right, so I got all these out. So two on each side, 12 millimeters. And let me tell you, especially with the EvoTech guard here, uh, I didn't do anything to, I didn't loosen anything and do anything to this. Uh, basically, you'll just have to be, you know, use, quarter inch, three eighths, extensions, little doodads like that to, to get them out. Okay, so looking quickly at the service manual, you can see that it calls for removing two bolts, one and two. So these will be 12 millimeter and one right here. And if we go to the other side, two. So I put a little jack here in case the whole thing just goes down and uh, and I'm, uh, we'll see if there's any other bolts that need to be removed after that, but we'll start with those. Okay, 
I got everything out and you know, everything is loose. The only thing is the metal pipe, you can see these came right off and the one on the right, but the middle one is kind of stuck and it's stuck. I think this bolt needs to come out right here where this is. This bolt needs to come out and otherwise it hits on the bar right behind it. And I can't get, I can't get right here the little flange out. It just hits on this. So if this comes out, I may be able to, you know, tilt that out of the way and get this out. Let's give that a shot. All right, so I removed that bolt. It's a 10 millimeter socket. And you can see once you do that, it allows for this to pivot up a bit. And I think that's gonna give me the clearance I need to remove that flange right in the, right behind it. So let me try that out and report back. Okay, well, victory, it's off. So getting that little uh, bolt off did help from that little bracket uh, right here. Uh, easy enough to get off so you can see whether the exhaust is off. So now to put the new one in. And it's just a matter at this point of following instructions. And uh, I'll make little notes as I put it in. Okay, ready for the next step. So here's all the pieces here for that one. And then the last piece is right here for the exhaust that's gonna go in. Uh, maybe two schools of thought. Do you assemble the whole thing with the pipe and then shove it in? Or do you put in these pieces first and then put uh, the muffler back on? Uh, here for the Leo vents, it looks like they just want you to put the pipes in first like that. Uh, I'm just gonna do that because I don't wanna hold the whole thing in place necessarily. Uh, here is the number that you need to get new uh, washers or whatever they're called for uh, for the three pipes. You need three of these for the Tracer 9 GT. And when you put them in there, they tend to fall off. You know, you gotta put that in and then put the pipes on top. Uh, or the flange, so a little grease, this is just whatever, red grease, assembly grease, whatever you may have, just a, a few dots on it to shove it right in, uh, in this area right here. You can just put it right in here and then it'll hold in that hole like that. So a few drops of uh, that assembly grease or red grease, whatever you want on it and then the washer should hold so that when you put the pipe on it, it's not gonna keep falling off. Okay, so for this specific exhaust, the Leo Vince, uh, what happens is that they, you know, this, these pipes are not welded to that flange. Unlike this exhaust here, you can see it's, it's on. So they're already in the right orientation. So really, you don't want to pre-install everything and try to line it up after this. You want to put this in first, then put in these pipes after. So you'll have one, two, and then the third pipe over there, these three pipes, and then you can just align these, uh, you know, to fit this bottom piece here. So that's a piece, and so it's easier to put these in first, and then twist them to line this up. It may help to put a little assembly grease up here to really, sometimes it gets hard to twist. But I think that looks pretty good uh, in terms of where it needs to be. The We'll see. So I'll put in uh, the bottom piece here and then uh, we'll see how that looks like. Okay, and here's the final result, all installed. Uh, just be careful when you're installing this. The the <laughs> you can scratch it easily as you're trying to position it. This is all metal here, and you're it put something like put just cover it up, and then you know I made a few scratches there. Thank God there was a little sticker, but annoyance. Uh, that's what it looks like. So you can see on this one it comes out here as opposed to exiting down here of the stock one or having a big pipe going here. So it's all a matter of preference, of course, you know, it's, it all depends what you want, but the install is pretty much the same and you can see how it goes here. So 
Uh, next thing is to, you know, tighten up that little uh, radiator bracket up here and put everything back in. And, and that's about it. I'll uh, start it up and uh, show you what it sounds like. But overall, this was the install of uh, aftermarket exhaust.